Hi guys, let's talk about a Google interview question today. The question is lead code 1470 shuffle the array. Uh, it goes something like this. Given the array nums consisting of two n elements in the form x1, x2, x3 until xn, y1, y2, y3, so on until yn. You have to return the array in the form x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and so on until xn, yn. Okay. So it's a lead code easy problem, but it becomes pretty hard to solve if someone asks you to solve it in O1 space and O1 time complexity. Like it's easy to solve in O1 space, but O1 space is pretty hard. And in a Google interview, you will be expected to solve it in O1 space, basically shuffle this array in place. So let's look at the input constraints. Input constraints are like n is less than or equal to 500 and uh, length of basically n is the half of the size of the array because length of array is 2n and num size is greater than equal to 1 less than equal to 1000 okay so basically uh, all the numbers in the array are positive a pretty important constraint which will help you develop a solution of o1 space okay and here's a test case as well like nums is 2513470 and is 3 which is half of the size of array and output is 235417 anyways like uh, you can solve it in o1 space by creating a new array and just copying the elements in the order specified in that new array very easy but let's see how to do it in O1 space. So like I have taken an example here. Original array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Shuffled array will be 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6. Okay. And here I am denoting the mapping as well of the numbers from their old position to the current position. Uh, basically, sorry, from the current position to the new position. Basically, the position in the original array and the position in the shuffled array. Okay. Like blue color is denoting all the numbers uh, in the first half of the array and Red color is denoting all the numbers in the second half of the array. Basically, all the numbers whose index, current index is greater than n. And blue color, current index less than n. Okay. <clears throat> so, this mapping actually helps you to visualize and uh, like the position of the array in the original and shuffled, position of the numbers in the original and shuffled array. And it also helps you determine a formula to come up with a formula for the uh, for the pos new positions of the elements okay and let's see what that formula is so i have here in violet color i have written the indices of the like the current indices of the elements in the original array and n as, n as i said is the half of the size of array so the new positions in the shuffled array will be something like this like if current position is less than n new position will be twice of current position else new position equals twice of current position minus n plus one okay and you can also see this formula is correct like uh, for two the current position is one its new position will be uh, twice of current position which is two and you can see here in the blue color two is here which is at index two and similarly for five like its current position is four four is obviously greater than n which is three okay so its new position will be twice of four minus three that is one so two into one plus one uh, that is three and you can see here in the red color that fives new position is 3 and this formula also holds for the elements at the first and last position I mean their position remains same in the original and shuffled array like for 1 uh, its new position will be twice of 0 which is 0 only and for 6 its new position position will be twice of 5 minus 3 which is 2 into 2 4 plus 1 5 okay uh, now what would be our algorithm so algorithm would be something like this that uh, what we will try to do is go in cycles in uh, for each index like what we'll do let's take an example for the number two which is at index one i determine the new position of two using this formula it comes out to be two only okay i will replace the number at the index two with the number at position uh, index one basically this two so what i would do instead of placing two here i would place minus two here okay and why i'm placing minus two is because I want to mark that I have actually visited this element and uh, like since I cannot use an extra array for marking that I have visit visited that particular element I will mark the visited as by keeping that number as a negative number okay and since I already told you in the constraints we are given that all the numbers are positive so that negative will not <coughs> basically uh, what you can say basically destroy our array okay so so what I would like I have replaced two with this and then I would similarly det determine the position new position for the number which was at index 2 and replaced that number with this particular num number at index 2 and I will keep on doing that until I come to a position which was already visited okay in case you did not understand this uh, let's actually try to simulate this scenario okay so here I am like my current number is 2 current position is 1 uh, which is here I determine the new position which is n is as I has told you 3 new position will be twice of uh, twice of 1 which is 2 and 
the new number that is the number at new position is 3 okay so what i would do i would replace this number so here i am i replace the number at index 2 with minus 2 okay and i then i swap current and current number and current position with new number and new position so my current number has now become 3 current position has become 2 i determine the new position for this which is twice of 2 which is 4 and at index 4 the number is 5 which is our new number so again i will swap uh, basically what I would do is that I would replace the number at index 4 with minus 3. So that's what I have done here. I replaced this with minus 3 now and swapped new number and current number and new position current position. Current number is 5, current position is 4. So new position will now become 3 because like 4 is greater than 3 we will use this formula. So it comes out to be 3. The number at index 3 is 4 which is our new number. So now <coughs> what I would do is I would replace the number at index 3 with minus 5. So that's what I did. I replaced this number with minus 5 and swapped new number current number, new position current position. New, now our current number is 4, current position is 3. We determine the new position. Again, 3 is not less than n. So we did use this formula to determine new position, which comes out to be 1. And number at current, sorry, new position is 2. So now I would replace the number at index 1 with minus 4. So as you can see here, that's what I did here. I've denoted these negative numbers with violet color. and as now our current number becomes 2, current position becomes 1, I determine the new position which comes out to be 2, okay. So I would replace the number at index 2 with minus 2, so I did that, okay. And after doing that, what would happen is, our current number will now become minus 2 and current position is 2. So now since current number has become minus 2, it means that we have already visited this. We do not need to, you know, go further in our cycle here. We can stop this our cycle here. And we will keep on doing that for each position like this I have only done for one like if you remember here we started with the uh, number at position one but we will do this for each we will repeat uh, do this cyclic thing for each position like for two three four and five okay so this way you can clearly see that we have basically not used any extra space and this will also make sure that we you know transform our original array into the shuffled array now the thing is like what is its time complexity so the time complexity is order n and let me tell you why is that so that is because this visited thing like we are replacing every number with the negative of that number so that makes sure that every index will be visited at most twice okay once uh, like it would be visited once when we encounter basically when we are replacing that number that particular index and then there might be a scenario that we might come back to that index again in our cycle but at that moment we will break out because you know uh, we are using this negative as a visited flag <clears throat> so this thing makes sure that all the indices are visited at most twice only so we will at most do like two n traversals and <clears throat> sorry two n iterations so uh, and let me show you one more thing like this I, we had done only for the index one then we go to index two so at index two <coughs> we see that the number is already negative so we do not do anything here current number is already negative we go to index 3 again current number is already negative minus 5 we go to index 4 current number already negative minus 3 then at 5 like uh, last this is the last number so last number will remain at its, its at its own position and we finally break out of this loop so <coughs> you can clearly see that this visited flag took care of not repeating our iterations and you can also see that this uh, like after doing this what we will do is that we will iterate over the array once more we will replace all the numbers with negative numbers with positive uh, value of that particular number and uh, finally we will get our original shuffled array basically our expected shuffled array which is 142536 and if you remember this was the answer as well 142536 so let's look at the code for it uh, so here is the code which I had written like this is the API we had to implement and I what I am going to do is that for each index I will try to uh, you know do that cyclic process so that's why I'm iterating here from i equal to 0 to uh, length of the array and initialize current number as num psi current position is i and we only uh, basically do you know iterations in this while loop until this current number is positive until this current number is greater than 0 and <coughs> we figure out the new position based on current position and this is that particular formula and then what we do is that we would replace the number at new position with the negative of the current number and we will then swap the current number and current position with the new number and new position okay and we'll keep on doing that 
and eventually when uh, after this for loop we iterate over the array again and if we see that num psi is less than zero we replace it with the positive value of that uh, number and eventually we return the num array so time complexity o n space complexity o one we have solved a google hard interview question good to move to second round thank you guys for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and comment on this video i'll see you all next time